Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and these are all the tips and tricks and hidden features of the new Google Keyboard app. This is the new keyboard app that you're going to find in the Android N version and personally I am simply loving it. I have been using touchpad keyboard for a long time and I simply love that and after using this keyboard I simply miss it on other Android devices. So let's start off with the tips and tricks. So the first thing would be one handed mode. So to enable the one handed mode simply press and hold the search button or the enter key and you get this quick shortcuts. You have a shortcut over there for one handed mode. Now the keyboard size has shrunk and now you get two additional options on the left. If you click this button the keyboard will just shift to the left and if you click it right it will shift to the right. To maximize the keyboard simply click this button and now you have the full size keyboard. If you want to quickly add emojis then simply press the enter button and you get the option a smiley option just hover over it for all these emojis. So let me just type something over here. If you want to delete any one of these words you can simply swipe from the delete key and you can delete the exact part that you want to delete. So I can simply press and hold this and do a swipe and now it's just highlighting the text and let me just delete the R. Now the R is removed, I mean the R word is removed. Next if I want to remove the entire thing I can do the same thing once again swipe from the delete key and release. I can select the part that I want to delete and simply release it to delete those words. So that's something I really like and it's an enhanced version of what we have in the touch pal. If we go to the symbols page we can see the recently used or the most used emojis at the top. Next if I want to use any of these symbols I can simply do this. So that's a nice shortcut. I don't know if it's available in older versions. I never use the Google keyboard and now I simply love it. Next we can swipe the space bar to move the position of the cursor. So once again this is something I really like. I hope you can see the changes. So to take the cursor to the start I can do that. But to take it to the back I can do once again this. These are some awesome, these are some amazing gestures and I've never imagined that Google will add them in their stock keyboard app. Next, if I want to delete the suggested word, I can simply press and hold the word and take it to the top to delete that word from my dictionary. So that's something really nice. If we go to the symbols page, we now have a shortcut for the number pad. And it looks really awesome. And on the left, we have a slider for quick symbols. Now let's go back. Besides these, we can change the theme of the keyboard app. Let me just change the theme. And by the way, the black color is something that I have set it up. So let's just go to language and input. Now select virtual keyboard. Select Google keyboard. Select themes. So you can switch between all these themes. For the demonstration, I'm using the Nexus 6 and and blacks look really amazing on this device. So I'm sticking with the black keyboard. If we go to preferences, we have the option to change the height of the keyboard. So just select that. And now I can decrease the size or increase the size of the keyboard. Let me just show you the size now. Now as you can see the size of the keyboard has increased drastically. If you want to try out this app on your Marshmallow device, I'll leave a link for that in the description area. So do check it out. Or else you can simply search for it in APK Mirror. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.